Welcome to the How to Quit Working Circle. I'm Jeff Steinman, creator of How to Quit Working and author of How to Quit Working, the book. And I created the How to Quit Working Circle because I wanted to give folks who are in full-time jobs, who want to start something on the side while they're still working their job so that they could eventually quit that job, a place that they can get together and network and communicate and really be around other people who have the same goals because one of the most important things to accomplishing any goal or changing what your life is like is to be around other people who are like how you want to be. So being around like-minded people and that's what you can do here in the How to Quit Working Circle and I encourage you to go up in the top part of this uh, membership site and click on the forum and go over there and introduce yourself to your fellow circle members and tell us a little bit about yourself and what you want to accomplish and what you want to get out of the How to Quit Working Circle. Now, I know that you're one of the key reasons that you're here is that you want to find out how to start a business in five days. And I promised you that I'm going to show you exactly how to do that over this five-part video training series. And I'm absolutely going to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to address what you're probably thinking in your head. And that is, how on earth am I going to start a business in five days? I've been told it takes like years to start a business and it's really hard and it's really risky and all that stuff. Well, the way you're going to do it in five days is by completely changing the way you think about it to be more compatible with being able to do it quickly and being able to do it without any risk and without a lot of money. And the first thing that we're going to have to do in order for you to be successful is to bust a couple of myths. And in, I'm going to bust three main myths in this video series. And I'm going to start in this video with the first one, which I think is the most important one that it, we bust. And that is that starting a business is all about having a great idea. Well, everybody seems to think that you have to have a brilliant idea in order to start a business. And that's just not true. Because if starting a business only required a great idea, everybody would have successful businesses and everybody would be multimillionaires because everybody has many, many great ideas inside them. In fact, I think most people get a couple of great ideas a day. So you've got to get past the idea that starting a business is about having great ideas because it's not. In fact, it's just the opposite. In fact, if you don't have any ideas, you are at an advantage over anybody else who has great ideas. And here's why. Successful businesses do one of two things. They either address a problem that exists in the marketplace or they help people in the marketplace to achieve a desire that they want to achieve. An idea is ahead of the game. What you have to do is go out into the marketplace, and the marketplace is just the people around you, and you have to talk to them and find out what are those problems that they're having, that they're looking for solutions for, and what are those desires that they're seeking. And then you figure out what you can provide to address those problems problems. Now that might be something that you create, that might be something that you make or that you develop, or it might be some other person's product that you provide to solve that problem. That could be a multi-level marketing product, it could be an information product, it could be a book, it could be a physical product like a, uh, a, a, a marker or a pen or a keyboard. I'm just looking around at the things around me. It could be anything. But the bottom line is that it has to start with that problem or that desire that you identify in the marketplace. Well, how do you identify that problem or that desire in the marketplace? And that's by starting a conversation with those people. You have to start talking to people and find out what problems do they have and what things are they trying to accomplish in their life. And that's the main focus of what we're going to do in this video training series. And once you've done that, once you've started a conversation with people and learned more about them and about what they're looking for, what they want, what they need, how they want it, how much they might be willing to pay for it, then you're going to be at a huge advantage because then all you have to do is go out and find something or create something that addresses that need. And that's much easier than you might think. 
All right, so now to get really down to starting this business in five days, we've got a lot of work to do in five days, but not anywhere near what you think it is. So let's go ahead and really dive into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is, you know, when people want to quit working, a lot of people want to start a business because they want to make a lot of money, and that's totally cool. But Really what people want is they want lifestyle. They want to have their own business so that they can get up every single day and do what they want, when they want, on their terms, and not have to worry about going somewhere else and following somebody else's directions and being on someone else's schedule. So really what they're looking for is lifestyle. Lifestyle is the most important thing in the world to me, and it's obviously very important to you or you wouldn't be here. So the first thing that we want to do when you're designing a business is to figure out really what do you want your lifestyle to look like? What do you want your life to be like on a day-to-day basis? When you get up in the morning, what do you want that to look like? Do you want to go into an office? Do you want to go to a hammock? Do you want to go uh, speak in front of people? Do you want to travel a lot? Do you never want to travel? Do you want to work from your home? Do you want to be available to pick up your kids at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Figure out what you want your life to look like. And this is really, really important because I believe that business is an enabler for lifestyle, not an enabler for anything else. But I believe that business and entrepreneurship is the avenue to having the lifestyle that you want. And if you don't know what lifestyle you want going into it, you'll never have a business that supports it. So that's why I've provided a worksheet below this video that you can click on and you can answer four really specific questions about what do you want your life to be like? And once you answer that, as you design your business, you can design it in such a way that it ensures that you get all of those things that you're looking for out of your business. Now, the next piece that is really key as you start a business is to realize that it's not some big, fancy, hard, difficult, complicated thing. All business really is, all entrepreneurship really is, is just figuring out what value you have to offer to the world and then providing that value to the world in exchange for money. That's really all it is. It's just an ex- business is just an exchange of value and the thing that we use to represent value is currency or money. So the the important thing for you to give really really solid thought to and really deep thought to right now is what is the value that you bring to the world? And there's a couple of different ways that you can look at it because this becomes your starting point for your business. When you identify what value it is that you provide to the world, that's the starting point of your business. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can think about this. So one way is to imagine that you are in a crowded restaurant. You're in a crowded restaurant in maybe your hometown where you live. And as you look around that restaurant, maybe there's 30 or 40 people in there. You look around the restaurant and you say, what is it that I know more about than 90% of the people in this room? What is that thing that you are probably better at or more knowledgeable about than 90% of the people in the room? So if you give some thought to that, just kind of visualize yourself in that situation and think about what would that thing be? You know, maybe that is gourmet cooking or maybe it is gardening. Maybe it is uh, something related to parenting. Maybe it's magic. Maybe you're an awesome magician. There's got to be something that you know more than 90% of the people in that room. Now, another way to think about it is like this. When your friends or your family or your colleagues or your neighbors or whoever it is comes to you and they ask you for your help with something, they come to you and they say, hey, can you help me with this? Or can you show me how this works? Or can you tell me what you think about this? Or can you give me your opinion on that? Or tell me what I should do in this situation? What is that thing that they're coming to you about? What is that thing that they're asking for your help with? Because what that's telling you is that's telling you where is it that the world, the people around you, already see value in you. 
All right, so they're seeing some sort of a value in you. They see that there's value that you can add to their lives, and they're coming to you seeking out that value. So give some really serious thought to what that thing is. And it's a really important thing because that's where the, the, your, the conversation that you're going to build with people around you is going to start. Now, another really great exercise that you can go through as part of this is to ask five people what value they believe you bring to the world. Now, this can be really eye-opening. You might really, really be surprised and probably uh, flattered by what you hear people say. But just go to five people. Maybe that's your spouse or uh, some friends or some family members. Just shoot off five emails or make five phone calls or whatever. And ask five people. Tell them you're going through some training course online. And ask them what it is, what the value is that they believe you bring to the world. And you're going to get a lot of really great insight from that. You're going to get insight as to how other people and how the world views you. And you're really going to start to see what the value is that you can bring to the world. Now, don't be afraid that people are going to say it's nothing because they're not going to say that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So don't be afraid of that. Uh, you, Every individual person on this planet has got amazing, amazing stuff to contribute and amazing value to add to the world. You just got to let it out and let it show. All right, so a couple of action items or assignments for this first section. And number one is to fill out that lifestyle uh, worksheet that will ask you questions about what you want your life to be like. And then the second one is to figure out what value that you add to the world. And that's by thinking through those scenarios that we talked about, asking five people what they think you, the value is that you provide. And I've also provided another worksheet below that you can fill out that will also get you to thinking about what kind of value you add to the world. Now, I will see you in the next video, which will come out tomorrow. And uh, But well, before then, go up in the forum, click on the forum, and post an introduction. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us what you want to accomplish and what you want to get out of this training. And really, what do you want your life to look like? We want to get to know you because this is a great forum. It's a group of people who we all think alike, and we all want the same things. So introduce yourself, join in the conversation, and you, maybe you'll make some friends. And this is going to be a lot of fun, but do those two exercises, post in the forum, and I'll see you tomorrow.